Hey there, Virgo. Um, so this reading is for whenever you get it, but it's for this week or longer. This is the energy that's going on today, but it's just going to say what's coming up as energy and how to move forward with the energy. So whenever you read this or hear this, this will be when you need it. So this is Virgo sun, moon, or rising, and your sun is your normal horoscope. Your moon and your rising are on your uh, natal chart or your uh, birth chart, and you can get that um, from an astrologer, or I like the website cafeastrology.com. I don't have uh, anything to do with them personally. I just like them. I think they give a really nice report for something free. I'm charging all of my little lamps because there seems like, I don't know what is going on energetically. Okay, so what I thought was funny, Virgos are so great because they're so organized and they like they, they like the list and they like to complete the list and they're they have really, the Virgos I've known, consistently have had really organized homes and they're great at organizing and they, um, they're good at detail oriented jobs. And so I thought this was really funny. So this is your surrender for this time this week or longer, as I said, um, let's see. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Let go of the results, holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage. So telling a Virgo to let go of control made me laugh, <laughs> but I do, it's, it's a time when everyone has to go out of their comfort zone if they really want to see changes, be changes, have their life change in the positive ways they've been thinking about. So I think that this is really good for you. And then you got um, lapis lazuli authenticity. That's your, one of your crystals. You got two this month and morganite self-worth so morganite's like a pink and i always think of morganite as an intuitive connecting to your soul connecting to your guides um and lapis lazuli is blue and it's you know throat communication is throat chakra and i always think of it as a royal stone so there's there's some things going on with those two elements. So I think that there's some communication about, um, you know, what you really want and then getting the gifts from God. Like I think that there's, and this has come up in a couple of different people's reading, different signs readings, that you, you need to really focus on the gift um, from God, the messages from God, things coming in that are gonna help you on this journey. Okay, so gifts from God, Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from the creator. Open your arms to receive. Your animal is 38, which would be 11, which is a, again, like a master number, a master spirit number, like the guides we've passed on that are masters. Lizards, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. In lizards, you know, they get their, their, you know, tail cut off and they keep going or, I mean, there's so many different lizard species, but, you know, the ones around here, um, I, get, I don't know if they'd be called newts, I'm not sure, but, and they change colors to adapt, to fit in, and they go with the flow, and I think that's part of the uh, don't attach to results. So you might be putting the effort forward, and there might be something better for you, because sometimes you might be like, all right, I'm going to make $100,000 on this project, but then the universe is trying to give you $700,000 and you're like so focused on the $100,000 that things start to go astray because the universe is really trying to give you something better than what you imagined. Okay. Um, your law of attraction, my attention to unwanted attracts more unwanted. So keep positive. I have the hiccups. For every pleasing thing, there is an unpleasing counterpart. For within every particular, <laughs> my brain, Every particle of the universe is that which is, un is wanted as well as the lack of that which is wanted. When you focus upon an unwanted aspect of something in an effort to push it away from you, it only comes closer because you get what you give your attention to, whether it is something that you want or you don't want. It is up to you to focus upon and only attract what you do want. 
So this is so true. So think about that. Like if you're like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get away these bees that sting me instead of saying like, I have a really safe backyard or I have a really safe environment. Like my body's always safe. See the difference? Okay. So this is, this deck is all about, you know, working out and well-being. And so your health well-being is about a weighted blanket. And I'm going to let you read that because the type is literally so small. Uh, I think you can see it. Okay. Um, so that's all about feeling secure, feeling okay, feeling like everything's going to be okay. And I think that's sometimes hard for Virgos. They want to be so strong sometimes that they forget that it's okay to uh, move on. This is one of the love cards. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but that they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So again, staying positive, um, positive work outcomes, consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. If you're thinking about buying a house or Again, they, they like to be really organized, so um, it might be something more spontaneous than what you're used to, and that's okay. Okay, not today, not dealing, not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. So do you feel like you're having some grudges here? Butterfly, relationships evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. And sometimes when we're holding on to grudges, it's our security, it's our protection of ourselves. And, you know, maybe that's part of the surrender, like surrendering to, you know, letting go, like that that energy, You are, if you keep thinking I'm always safe in every situation, only good will come, I'm only safe, then you don't have to worry about these other things. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, making memories. So I do feel like you're just kind of, sh you're stuck in the past somewhere. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. So it looks like you're, you need to get out of your own way so that a new love can come in. Addiction, codependency, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So just make sure that's not you doing this. And if you have addictions, you should seek help. Okay, so this is whoever you're thinking about when you see this. I wish I could share my good news with you. Um, I don't know how, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. I remember every detail of that day. So someone is obviously thinking of you. I don't know why there's a cat in here. Um, they're, they're just driving me crazy today. So, you know, just, you don't have to have closure with having it with the other person. You can have closure with yourself. And the whole idea of forgiveness, because forgiveness to me is always a hard one because I want people to be accountable for the things they've done. If I'm accountable for things that happen to me, because karma always finds me, so why are they not accountable? So I have a hard time with forgiveness. <laughs> and I'm with you. But the problem is it takes up energy that you want to be using for yourself and energy that is help helping you guide you to the new things this cupid's arrow this butterfly this emerging into somebody new understanding your authentic self and exploring that you know receiving gifts from god self-worth there's so many great things um and you're you know dreaming the world into being it's like you have this manifestation so don't use it for bad use it for good so hopefully this is clear please like comment, subscribe, share, because this is free. This takes a lot of my time. So I would love to share it with more people because my intention for doing this is to help as many people as I can that maybe can't afford a reading or don't have time to come for a reading personally. So I want to be able to help because this is a heavy time and people do need guidance or feeling lost and we're, we just had a pandemic. It's just crazy. So please, help me with the algorithm and like, share, comment, and that gets more notices from the YouTube um, Oz <laughs> behind the curtains, and I will be able to help more people. So that would help me. Thank you so much, and have a great week, and I'll see you later. And my email will be down below if you want a private session. Just reach out. Thanks so much. Bye.